أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم brothers and sisters inshallah when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam after the battle of Uhud Allah subhanahu wa taala said in the Quran that it was by the grace by the mercy of Allah that you were um, soft with them as had you been harsh hearted with them then they would have truly pushed you would have truly pushed them away from you brothers and sisters sometimes you know when our children uh, get into things that we know they shouldn't get into or say things they shouldn't say there's a tendency sometimes for us to use the harsh approach and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us he's giving us a basic principle of human relationships interpersonal relationships harshness actually pushes people away from us it doesn't bring them closer to us so whether we're being harsh to our children or whether we're being even harsh to our spouses or what have you, we have to remember that that wasn't the Prophet's way. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling the Prophet, peace be upon him, that even though in the battle of Uhud, the Prophet, peace be upon him, had a right to be angry with the believers because they didn't follow instructions, they didn't follow orders. The Prophet, peace be upon him, did not go in that particular route. He didn't go in the route of harshness. He went in the route of being patient, he went in the route of giving, um, more like giving nasiha and so on and so forth. And that's a real s serious lesson for us. Particularly as men, you know, as husbands, and as fathers, sometimes we, we, have, we have a tendency sometimes to use the harsh approach first. But the Prophet, peace be upon him, was very, very clear in terms of how we treat our spouses, in terms of how we treat our children. How did he treat his spouses and how did he treat the children? He wasn't harsh with them. And that's one of the reasons why they loved the Prophet so much, peace be upon him, that even in those instances in which he had a right to be harsh, he didn't. And so, inshallah, we hope that this is a reminder for ourselves that although we may be overcome and, and so on and so forth and get emotional on certain things, always remember that the harsh approach doesn't work. The harsh approach will actually do the opposite of what we intended. And sometimes you can see um, there's a tendency as well to think that being harsh means that we're at a high level of Iman. That's very, very common that, that the harsher we are, the closer we are to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not true at all. Matter of fact, one of the ways that you can tell that, um, uh, that a, a Muslim is not really close to, uh, close to Allah as they might think is how harsh they are to the people. And so this is just a reminder that when we deal with our children and when we deal with our students and when we and when we deal with each other the harsh approach doesn't work that we have to come up with another way of how to of how to get through our loved ones remember when the prophet peace be upon him dealt with the man who came into the masjid and urinated in the masjid and the and the companions were really upset and they wanted to do something to him but the prophet peace be upon him told the companions first he told them how to deal with it you know, the pour water over it, so on and so forth. He got with the man and told the man that it's improper to do that type of thing here at the masjid. And then he told, he turned his, to his companions and he said to the Sahaba, I was sent to make things easy and not, not to make things harsh, hard on the people. And so this is something that we should just keep in mind. The harsh approach does not work. The only thing it does, it pushes that person um, away further away from us into the, instead of to us. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum.